What's up guys, Toxic Tank here, and welcome to another episode in the Cuban Missile Crisis. In this episode, I'm going to be doing the scenario mission of the first mission of this uh, Russian campaign. So, let's get started. I've already got more ammo and more fuel and more spare parts than the other smaller uh, missions that I usually do. So... Enough talk, let's do this. Alright, now we're in the mission. Uh, you may have noticed that I have a lot more vehicles than before. Uh, apparently, the game is somewhat unfair. I wouldn't really say unfair, but apparently I couldn't uh, re-invert this mission. I have beaten this mission before, so I can sort of give like an idea of where everything is so it wouldn't take so long. But I have a lot more IS-3s. I think I have a total of seven. Seven? The last time I think I had like five. So I have like seven IS-3s. I got a handful of T-34s. I got one SU-100. He's probably going to do any... Probably do some good. Um, I have a lot more West SU-152s. I got a lot more... I think I get more rocket trucks in this. Maybe. I have a total of four, I think. So, uh, but first things first, I need to, oh yeah, I almost forgot about this. Apparently the Germans have decided, well, a couple of German soldiers decided to turn against their own, decided to assist us in this mission. Why would you blow up the truck? Alright, uh... I need you guys to scout... I don't want to use my artillery just yet because... There's still some long-range artillery. I think they're mostly dug in and they're pointed in this direction. But they have like a... Like a, uh range cone like very wide and they're like heavy artillery guns so I have to play it safe there are some mortars but they can't really do any damage to my tanks so Let's try to take it slow there's also some short range SPGs I think they're M7 Priests. So I need to take out those as well. There's a slugger in there somewhere. Yeah, I figure out what that slugger is. I can kill him. He's in here somewhere. Oh, there he is. Alright. I'm gonna send a rocket barrage and I'm gonna send another rocket barrage over here. You three, my mobile SPGs. God. One thing I don't like about these rocket trucks is that they have a very short range. It's not like the Kakushas, we have like an extensive amount of range, you just fire. Hope it kills him. Oh, nice. Just ripped into pieces. Alright, uh... Yeah, those are the mortars. Alright. 
And uh, I'm going to save Battle 2. T-34s. I'm going to do like a rushing. I want them to rush in. Do a little surprise attack. The only thing threatening in there are the guys in the houses with the rocket launchers and AA vehicles. up now. Always make sure that your troops are moving. Sounds like an ambulance vehicle. Should capture that AA vehicle. Use it against the infantry. Alright, uh, I'm gonna save. Next step is to take out the four position. Which is right here. What I do what I did last time. Last time I did this, I took like all of these guys, pretty much just put them in a position where they wouldn't get hit, and I sent in like one tank as a distraction. Before I do that, I should move up my IS 3s. All seven of my IS 3s. These things are tough. They are very tough to kill. The only vehicles I have to watch out for are Centurions and Pershings. Sluggers, they're somewhat of a problem, but most of the time it's those two tanks, Pershings and Centurions. I just want to make sure I have all my tanks accordingly. Because there will be some other vehicles crossing that bridge. Alright, 
It looks like I lost one tank. Audius 3 is coming to kill. The only problem I see using the IS-3s is fuel. These things use a lot of fuel. Right, this one. Now they need to repair that bridge. get too close. I do have another sniper squad inside this armored vehicle. I'm going to send him in, see if he can scout the area. I captured that mortar, uh, that mortar, and trying to get crew on there. Before going any before I go any further. Save. This is just like in Woods Creek. Okay. Can you please leave my eyes through your wall. They're gonna run out of ammo by the time they even kill me. So always one person that doesn't want to, not exactly want to, doesn't know how to cross a bridge. For God's sakes, we just crossed the bridge. Stop fucking around. Oh my God, you're right there. Just cross the bridge. You are so dumb. You know what? Screw you then. You're gonna get left behind. Obviously your sense of direction is against you. There's... A Pershing around here somewhere. I'm gonna send yes. a rocket barrage. Uh, where am I, you guys? Da, Resupply Slushuse. the rockets. Damage can this? Oh. It does. This, does this thing even have a machine gun? I don't think it does. God, I hate snow. It slows everything down. It's all like sand.
Alright, the trucks are reloading the rockets. I'm gonna send a rocket barrage, see if we can clear this area out, because the hedges are blocking my field of view from my sniper. Once I captured this town, I believe they're gonna try and do like a little counter attack, but it's gonna be <laughs> they're gonna be using chappies to try and take back this town. But there are no match against the mighty IS-3s, nor the T-34s. Chappies don't really do a whole lot against T-34s. They can do a little bit of damage, but not a whole lot. Same thing with the uh, American Easy 8 Shermans. They still have those around here. It's basically all half of the vehicles right now that are being used at the beginning of this campaign are mostly World War II vehicles. And I believe I believe later on through the years the vehicles get more and more and more uh, modified and become a lot more better in combat. Uh, there's a slugger. But that's not what I'm looking for. I am looking for a squadron of artillery. I know that there is a, a priest down here. But I, believe, I believe he's behind this church. But I don't want to risk it just... Uh, shouldn't be bad right now because the bush is pretty much covered by a sniper. Alright, how is my... And my rockets still need to be refilled. I don't know why the sniper needs to have two more guys with him. I mean, are they supposed to be spotters? Yeah, uh, there's a, a Sherman Easy 8. I can't see. I cannot see what's going on. I save. How oh, my rockets still need to be refilled. This guy is pretty much done. This guy needs still more time. I'm so tempted to just rush in there. Just do it. I'm gonna repair that bridge just in case if one lucky artillery shell manages to destroy the bridge, then I lose like half of my eyes threes. That has happened to me to me before in like Woods Creek. I get like a huge army of vehicles, and then some lucky bastard destroys the bridge, I lose half of my units, it slows me down, and they have to repair the bridge. Well first I have to get rid of all the enemy or enemy units around it, but I'm pretty sure it's, the truck is far away enough for them not to notice. That's what I'm hoping. Yeah. I'm pretty sure these guys can take up the artillery. The artillery is not really that... What is it this time? Time to go. Apparently they spotted my engineer vehicle. Let's see if we can get these guys around. I believe there's mortars in the town as well. Oh, 
Please do not do that. That is horrible when you do that. Wow, nice shot. It won't take a while, because he's dead. These things do run out of ammo a lot. And sometimes it can be quite inaccurate. Most of the time, they can't hit the broadside of a barn door. Alright, that's three vehicles down. A couple more to go. Oh, there's a slugger. Alright, his threes are still alive. There's no crew in that now. Yeah, you gotta always be careful with these vehicles when they have no crew. Because sometimes there's a truck that pops up and it's like, oh look, free tank. Yeah, I should capture that right away. Yeah. I'm still too far. Yeah. Let's send a rocket barrage. Still too far. I always get nervous whenever I hear a truck. Yeah, but it's mostly for the uh, artillery vehicles. It's not really for the tank. Yep, there's one. Happy hunting! Hit the damn thing. Oh, he's dead. Holy crap, it's a lot of vehicles. That's number two. Two more to go. I think there's a total of four of them. And that's just mortar, mortar fire. Yeah, there's another one. 
crew is dead. Fourth one's way in the back there. Way, way, way in the back. Oh, there's the there's an arm mortar right there. Unless there's only three of them. All right, how far can you reach them? Ah, uh, that's good enough anyway. Oh no, we're under attack. Well, it took damage from the mortar. Alright, uh, I'm gonna send in the RS3s. I'm gonna save it. Ice three is away. several crew members inside these vehicles but that's fine at least the Nakaboot destroyed Keep moving. Where are my T-34s? You guys are up next. Is a uh, short range artillery and a trench line. Thank 
All right, we cross the river. And it's just wonderful. All right, I'm going to bring in the infantry. Gonna recapture my tanks back again. Actually, I can use that uh, American SPG to my advantage. Okay, these RS threes are running well on fuel. Also, can use that slugger as well. Guys, recapture these IS threes. The rest of you can go inside that house. Alright, uh, you guys need to be prepared. Where's my engineer vehicle? There you are. Repair these tanks. Also need my fuel truck. I can now use these long range artillery guns. The good thing about these is that they don't use a whole lot of ammo. Alright, I need you guys to continue your scouting. Figure out where the rest of the artillery guns are. Yes. Yeah. Now at this point it's mostly short range artillery. I don't repair so much of the IS-3s, but that's alright. They're tough. They're Soviet steel. Alright, I need to refill them though. They take up a lot of gas. Or should I say diesel? You guys capture that American SPG and also the Slugger. Ah, oh, look at that. Isn't that just wonderful? Perfect opportunity to use my artillery. There goes one. Let's take out the other. There you go. Alright, I'm gonna put them on automatic. So kill the rest of these guys. Capture that SPG. Also capture that slugger down there. Uh, where's my fuel truck? There you are. I do have some more, yeah, I have these guys. Was one tank. Oh, 
автобат. Слушаюсь. Да, автобат. Какой приказ? Да, автобат. Guys, over here. Да, автобат. Начинаем движение. Танки к бою. All right, most of these guys are except for that one. And that one. Just waiting for these guys to be refilled. This guy needs to be refilled as well. Battery! Approaching position. Guys can set up over here. Capture that slugger. Should probably get some more infantry inside the town. And the SC-100, of course. I'll put him on town defense. Was good so far. Battery. I don't have a whole lot of ammo to spare around, though. Yeah, most of the ammo went to the rocket trucks. Alright, well, I'm gonna save. And I'm gonna to attack. A slugger to kill my crew. Okay, you asshole. You killed the same vehicle. How did you manage to do that? 
Why is it always my fucking most expert vehicle get killed? Maybe you should stay behind. save it. This is because they just all pretty much washed my eyes threes. Pershing. Oh, that just sucks. Yeah, well... Chappies. Ah, there goes my SPG. Vehicles are starting to get low on ammo. There's not enough ammo to go around. I'll send in the these guys in first. Have to be careful as well because these guys have rockets. Damn it. Stop a recovery vehicle. I believe there's still some guys inside that tower. Nope. Not anymore, there ain't. Yeah, this guy's getting low on fuel. But lucky for me, though, I still have a sniper squad. You guys move over here. I'm gonna send in some infantry to that fuel depot, make sure no one captures it. So send a fuel truck over there as well. And I need to capture my SP 
not really SPG, SPA, not SPA, my TD. I'm all confused. This guy lost a T-34. Sniper squad. Uh, they're around here somewhere. Where the hell are they? Damn it, now I've lost them. God damn it, where the hell are they? Are they in there? <laughs> okay, apparently I told them to get inside an armored vehicle. Oh, that's dangerous. What are you doing? You're gonna get shot up. I swear to God, if you get shot up, I'm not blaming me. I'm not blaming myself because of what you did. Let's save. The IS-3s. Is there enough ammo in these trucks to... I wonder if there's enough ammo for these trucks to even resupply these IS-3s. If not, that's fine. We have enough ammo anyway to complete this mission. Grenader. Okay. That wasn't a tank. That was an SPG. Motherfucker. I'm going to kill you. You little shit. I am going to beat the shit out of you. Слушаюсь. 
once I get my sniper team close enough. There's no one in these bunkers. I'm I'm for sure there's no one in these bunkers. Alright, uh God, this is gonna take forever. Just hope we don't get spotted. I'm gonna save it right here just in case they get spotted. Then if they do, then I've got a bit of a problem because I have to clear out that trench then. You guys need to stop firing. You guys are wasting your ammo. He's got like one shell left. You know what? I'm just gonna send you back to base anyway. I've already did well enough. Hello. What we got here? Looks like SPGs that need to die. another one. So you're gonna take a while with that. Uh, towers are always to my worry. The more thing I'm worried about is the Pershings that are parked inside this camp. When you get around this bunker, try to spot the Pershings. There's another priest. Not anymore. Alright. Slowly but surely, I'm getting close to my objective. There's a Pershing. He needs to die. Why you guys aiming for that thing? I don't want you to hit that thing, I want you to hit the tower. Исполняем. 
these short range artillery guns can't really do very well against Pershings. Crew's dead, but that doesn't mean anything. No Pershing. There was a Pershing. There's another slugger. Right past them. Ready for action. Bye bye. T-34s. Eh. I want the ice to handle this. Точно. 
press the attack. It is almost Adios. over. Prepare tanks for action. Adios. It's over. The battle is over. We have won. We are victorious. All right, so I earned the order third class. Uh, companies and regiments involved in demonstrating, yada, yada, yada. All right, so I won an award. I've lost three tanks. They were T-34s, but I can always replace them. Uh, the enemies lost a lot of Pershings and Sluggers. I did pretty well. Alright, so... The next scenario... I still have my tank brigade. A lot of these vehicles seem to be damaged, but that's alright. But, guess what? I've got new vehicles now. I got T-44s, I got the... Russian ZSU... 155... This thing... Is one of the most annoying vehicles ever. On the Russian side, it is one of the most annoying vehicles ever. It's like an invincible death machine that won't die. It is that tough to kill. Medium tanks, some medium tanks, uh, die because of these freaking uh, 57 mil guns on this thing. It is so annoying to kill. And I got uh, bombers, fighters, recon helicopters, recon planes. I have an air force now, so we're been we've been upgraded to a new, a whole new world. And right now, I still have my old brigade. Still keep it. Some of these vehicles need to be prepared. Uh, won't be able to move for a couple of turns. I need to repair some of my vehicles. Alright, uh, first thing I need to re get to that radar station, make sure it's protected. And I'm gonna make a couple more vehicles, some IS 3s, some new T 44s, and I'll put them near. Air Force. Oh, they're already at the Air Force area. Yeah, okay, that's good. Alright. So, you know what? I'm going to end this episode right here, guys. Hope you enjoyed this little scenario mission. It was kind of a long one, but what do you expect? It's kind of like Blitzkrieg. So, I'm going to end this episode right here, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Also, leave a comment. And I'll see you guys later. And also, tank on.